know, you can get a good picture of Mama and the baby right there. If I can get up there. I'm shooting this from my car. I'm too lazy to walk around. I'm trying not to hit nothing. They don't let me drive too much anymore. I'm only allowed to drive on the on the ranch. I'm not allowed to get out on the big roads and drive around. In case you all don't know, I, I, I am legally blind. It's hard for me to see. I have uh, absolutely no vision in my right eye. And uh, um, I have, I guess they call it low vision in my left eye. Um, I can see probably 10% out of my left eye. Uh, it, uh, um, best way to look at it is, uh, best way to, to judge or to see how I, how I can see is, take a straw next time you're at McDonald's or Taco Bell or something, take your straw and look through the center of the straw. And uh, cover up the rest of your eye around the around the corner. And just look through the center of that straw. That basically is what uh, what it looks like I'm seeing. Um, my distance I can only see maybe in 200 yards, 200 feet. I don't know, two three hundred feet probably. It's not not too far. So they don't let me drive too much. But I get my driving uh, aggressions out on the on the uh, here on the ranch. You know. We we've we've got a few hundred acres and I uh I come out and check my cows every morning and uh I'm always doing something as far as gardening or with the cows, uh chickens, pigs. We don't have any pigs right now, we just got rid of all our pigs. But uh, we'll have some more in the spring. That poor little guy, he's not too happy right now. Let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, that's it. Yeah, he's not too happy. That's Nosy. Uh, we named him Nosy because when he was born, he had a real bad reflex of cring cring cringing his nose. And so that's Nosy, but yeah, he's not real happy. He's doing a lot better than he was the last couple of days. Oh, man, he was bellowing like crazy because we took his mama from him about, oh, I want to say two or three days ago now. And uh, he hasn't had any milk in three days, so... But uh, we weaned him, and uh, he'll start. He'll actually start growing a lot faster, and get really big. I mean, he's he's probably already about 400 pounds, and uh, since we took Mama, he'll probably be by next next spring 400. He'll be about eight, seven or 800, and uh, by summer. We all have a good thousand pound uh, steer right there. And, um, well, actually, we won't have a thousand pound steer anymore because, uh, poor nosy, you know, it's circle of life. He's going to end up in the freezer. We're going to put him in the freezer, and that will be our beef, uh, for the next year. We, we're, we're not out, but we're all, we're running low on beef. And, uh, that's one of the best things about, uh, living on a cattle ranch you know we always got fresh beef and and uh we always have the beef put up as far as cost well he hasn't cost me anything to date as far as uh there's some some vaccines 20 20 dollars worth of vaccines just so he doesn't get um you know uh different uh uh cattle um diseases and stuff like that but that nothing no antibiotics no steroids or anything like that you know nothing nothing real major um they get a they get a uh, uh they get a shot once a year just so that they don't get any diseases and we run them through a, a cattle shoot squeeze them and we actually actually we have the brand here in the next week or two i'd say about two or three weeks so we're actually late on our branding but we'll end up catching the whole herd and um, all the babies that are born. There's a probably a dozen babies, uh, half a dozen babies out there that need to be branded. And uh, um, we'll run them through the chute, brand them, inoculate them, and uh, they'll be good to go. But like I said, he's going in our freezer. And, uh, 
you know, processing, like I said, today really haven't spent much on him, just my time, and let's, my time isn't, you know, it's not all that bad, I mean, I don't do much other than check on him once a day, and that's about it, and, uh, but after all said and done, it's going to cost me 70 cents a pound to have him processed. And that's uh, butchered and wrapped and put it, and ready to be put in the freezer. And uh, you know, 900 900 pounds. We'll figure you can, out of a thousand pound steer, I might end up with about 800 pounds of meat. So you know, seven times a is 56. So it's gonna cost me 560 dollars to put a year's worth of meat in our freezer. Um. You know, eight, 70, 80 cents a pound by the time you add everything into it. I don't know you. I don't know where you guys shop, but I know for a fact that none of you are getting your meat for 80 pounds, 80 cents a pound right now, unless you're growing it yourselves. And uh, even at a dollar a pound, even if it went up to a dollar or or two dollar shoot lately if it went up to a dollar fifty a pound almost two dollars a pound I know you guys aren't getting it that cheap the beef prices are outrageous I'm not sure what they are in the east but on the west coast and uh, um, and over here in Colorado the beef prices are outrageous but uh, we can thank Japan for that one but that's a whole nother story I won't get into all that anyways hope you all have a good day and We'll talk to you all soon.